last example, we saw that solving rational inequalities was an interval of numbers. And the main steps to remember is step one, where you have to make sure that zero is on the right side. And in step two, we must find where the rational expression is undefined or equal to zero. Where the rational expression is undefined is where the denominator is zero, and where the rational expression is equal to zero is where the numerator is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and look at the example i22. Let's solve 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 4 greater than or equal to 2. And remember, we're going to have an interval of numbers because this is an inequality. So the first thing I want to do is step 1 is sure we get 0 on the right side. So we have 3x minus 1 over x plus 4 greater than or equal to 2. And if I subtract 2 from each side, I get 3x minus 1 over x plus 4 minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So I've completed step 1 and got 0 on one side. In order to move on to step 2 to find where the left side is undefined or 0, I need to set the denominator equal to 0 and the numerator equal to 0. However, if you look down at our left side of our rational inequality, notice I don't have one fraction on the left like I did in the previous example. Here, I have to go ahead and combine these two so that I have one fraction on the left side. So let's rewrite this left side into one fraction and then we can move on to step two and solve the problem. So I'll go ahead and write 3x minus 1 over x plus 4 minus 2 on here on the left. And notice I can rewrite 2 as a fraction, like 2 over 1. And then I can clearly see that the common denominator would be x plus 4. And I can multiply top and bottom of 2 over 1 by x plus 4. Again, still greater than or equal to 0. So then I would get 3x minus 1 over x plus 4 minus 2 times x plus 4 all over x plus 4. Notice now I have common denominator. I can go ahead and now rewrite this as one fraction. So I'll have 3x minus 1 minus 2 times x plus 4 all over x plus 4. Distributing the minus 2 in the numerator, I get 3x minus 1 minus 2x minus 8 all over x plus 4, still greater than or equal to 0. Combining like terms, I'll get 3x minus 2x, which is x, minus 1 minus 8 gives me minus 9 all over x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. Now I have rewritten this as one fraction. This is all step one. So now let's go ahead and use this to find where the rational expression on the left is 0 and undefined. So step two, let's go ahead and find where it's 0 and undefined. So we got x minus 9 over x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So where this left side is 0 is where x minus 9 is 0. And where the rational expression on the left is undefined is where the denominator x plus 4 is 0. So this implies that x is equal to 9 
and where this is undefined is where x is equal to negative 4. Following the steps above, we can move on to step 3 and graph these values on a number line and take, step, take test points and determine the sign of the result and then be able to determine in step 5 our solution. So let's go ahead and take these two values and put them on a number line. And we'll put negative 4 on the left, 9 on the right. I'll do dashed lines. And step 4, I'll go ahead and take test values on each side of these um, values of 9 and negative 4. So let me go ahead and take negative 5, 0, and 10. So I'll evaluate my rational expression x minus 9 over x plus 4 for at x equal negative 5, 0, and 10 and determine the sign of the resulting value. So let me see x equal negative 5. So negative 5 minus 9 over minus 5 plus 4. Well, negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14. Minus 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And negative over negative would leave you with a positive 14. So on the left of x equal negative 4 would leave positive values for x equals 0. So 0 minus 9 over 0 plus 4, which is negative 9 over 4. And negative 9 over 4 results in a negative number. So x values in between negative 4 and 9 is negative. And on the right, I anticipate positive numbers just following the pattern, but let's just make sure. So if I let x equal 10, my rational expression will be 10 minus 9 over 10 plus 4, which would be 1 over 4, which is positive. Therefore, numbers to the right of 9 leave us with positive values. And since we needed values that were greater than or equal to 0, meaning that we are looking for numbers that are positive or equal to 0. Okay, well that means that I'm going to take all the numbers in which result in positive numbers so to the left of negative 4 and to the right of 9. And the one number that made my rational expression 0 was 9. So I'm going to go ahead and include 9 in my interval. So therefore, let's move on to step 5 and write our answer. So step 5, let's go ahead and determine the solution. And again, because this is an inequality, the solution is an interval. So we're going to take all the numbers to the left of negative 4, which is negative infinity, all the way out to negative 4. I will not include negative 4 because this is where the rational expression was undefined. I'll jump over this interval here and hop to 9. So union 9, because I was able to include where the rational expression was 0, I can put a bracket there, comma, all the way out to positive infinity.